Hi, this is Gabe from FluentForever.com. In the last tutorial, we installed Anki and went over some basics for putting text, pictures, and sound files onto a flashcard. In this second Anki tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install my model deck into Anki. It has a bunch of pre-made flashcard designs in it, and it'll save you time when you're trying to use Anki to learn a language. First off, I want you to go to FluentForever.com, it's Fluent-Forever.com, slash gallery. If you're there already, which you might be, you don't actually need to open up a new window this time. We'll only use this page for a second. So if you scroll down on this page a little bit, uh, you're going to find a link that says download it here. That's the model deck. Right-click on that, or if you're on a Mac, Control-click on that, and select, you know, download linked file. Or download linked file as, uh, whatever you want. Just download it. Um, as before, it's going to show up in your browser window somewhere. In Chrome, it'll show up on the bottom left, and in Safari and Firefox, it'll be up here. Now, double-click on this file. It'll open. Anki will open itself. And you should see this little yellow thing that says 21 cards input reported. Um, if you run into problems here, if that doesn't happen, um, then check out the bottom of the FluentForever.com gallery page. Uh, I'm planning on keeping some basic troubleshooting information there as people send me stuff, uh, and so well, hopefully we can all take care of all of our individual little computer problems that way. Um, so our next couple of steps, uh, they're relatively silly and meaningless, but we have to do them. Uh, you're going to click on the text Model Deck, and it'll open up these flashcards. Uh, this is incidentally the same thing you're going to do to actually study these flashcards. It's just that right now you don't even have meaningful flashcards. You have a bunch of junk that I'm sending you. So uh, click on Study Now, which is just what you do to actually study, and you'll see some of these gibberish flashcards. Uh, they all say, you know, press the exclamation button to get rid of me the first time I show up. So do just that. Press the exclamation button and do this five times. It's going to get rid of these cards permanently, um, and then you don't have to deal with them ever again. Poof, I'm done. Uh, at this point I can click on the DEX button after hitting exclamation point five times and I'm basically ready. Uh, the only reason for those gibberish cards is that they force Anki to install the flashcard designs that I want you to have, uh, but there's no way to send them to you without you actually having to get rid of them manually. Um, at this point, Anki is basically all set up for use. Uh, if you'd like, you can rename your deck. Instead of being called Model Deck, this is where you collect all your flashcards, uh, you can rename that. And so I will do that. The way you do that is you click on this gear button, you select Rename. Uh, in my case, I'll name it, I don't know, My Hungarian Deck. And I am set up. At this point, you are good to go. Uh, to actually make flashcards for a language, uh, go back to this gallery page and choose the type of flashcard you'd like to make. I'm going to be putting tutorials for each one of these flashcard types uh, up on this page. Um, if you need to learn uh, Chinese or Japanese, um, then those are slightly different and they're going to need a slightly different model deck uh, and slightly different card construction process. So uh, click on this modifications for Chinese and Japanese page, read it through. Uh, but for most of the other languages, for basically all the other languages, uh, Pick the flashcard type you want, which you'll see in the book. They'll all be listed in the book. Uh, and, and you'll find a tutorial for making that particular flashcard type. And that is it. Enjoy, and I'll see you next time.